JD is a guy who is, he thinks he's very, very smart. You know, the smartest guy in the room, but, but not the sharpest tool in the shed at all. Um, and, and that really excited me because to play a bad guy is always more fun, in my point of view, and to play somebody who is uh, completely confident in his smarts, but in reality, he is probably the, uh, the clown of the group. In terms of my point of view as JD, it's, 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 it's one of the biggest heists that I was a I'm able to, to do with, with Doc, who's, who's, who's a legend. Um, you know, everyone knows Bats, who's kind of a, a cuckoo guy. Um, so just that opportunity to, to be with these guys and get that big heist and get that big money, that's the biggest drive. It's what makes the, the film very unique, you know? It's kind of like watching a, a long music video, um, but I've never been a part of anything where the, the music drives uh, the story, um, let alone the entire movie. Um, and that's an another aspect which, which really wanted, I really wanted to be a part of the script was because of the music, and we know how unique Edgar thinks, you know? Um, and to be in that point of view uh, from Baby and, and to get into his mind, it's, it's very, very special. First, he looks the part tremendously well. I mean, he has such one of the softest faces I've ever, I've ever seen. Um, but he, he has such a kind soul, you know, and that's what makes him Baby the innocence in his face and his, his character in real life, he's able to bleed that into the character and you can't, you can't learn that. Um, very charismatic, um, playing baby, and also just willing to, to, like I said, play with all of us. Just for the script, for what something to function on so many levels is really exciting and um, it's such a fully realized concept in, in so many ways, visually, you know, and, and uh, music-wise and um, just every which way, you know, it really has a lot of poetry to it, but it's got the action and it's got the music, like the, it's kind of, everything's kind of choreographed to this music in a way, it's pretty incredible. Um, and uh, I read the script and I was so excited and, you know, of course said yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I feel very fortunate to be a part of it. Music is kind of the most important thing in my life, you know. And um, Edgar, you know, music plays such a crucial part of this film, I think. Pretty much every scene um, revolves and dances around with a piece of music, you know, that, that, are, that Edgar, I think, very uh, painstakingly chose, you know. And um, so, I, you know, I think all the music is all stuff that's close to his heart. They don't specifically want this kid to drive for them, it's who Doc hired. And um, Eddie no nose is very wary of Baby, and um, just thinks he's kind of crazy and doesn't and and you know he wants the job to go well. And all I care about, all Eddie no nose cares about, is the job getting done right. The highway chases—they're insane. It's absolutely insane. Like I said before, in this car, like rocketing down the highway, swerving and squealing all over the place at 90 miles an hour um, with no seat belt on. <laughs> you know, it's intense, man. It's intense. And uh, I dig it. So what did you think of that video? Now, stay with me as I have some interesting making of facts for you. Jurassic Park had 14 minutes of dinosaur footage, and out of these, only four minutes were rendered with computer graphics. The rest were shot using animatronic models, including a 20-foot T-Rex that weighed more than 13,000 pounds. Are you a fan of the Jurassic Park franchise? Subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to always be up to date with all the latest releases.